So we're speaking here as we're approaching Christmas and New Year's. What does uh, 2019, uh, what are some of your plans outside of releasing your short stories? I'm assuming you're just going to continue to write plays, and are you going to have novels in between them? Well, I've got two, this play I'm working on, and then I've got two more that I'm going to do. Uh, I'm not going to do any Dan Schneider video interviews probably till February because Jessica, I got to get her a new car, not a new new car, but a, a two or three year old car used because uh, the car we've got here is is decent, but she wants a new car, so we'll end up getting that. So probably throughout January, by the end of January, hopefully I'll have a new car for her, and I'll keep my old one. Um, then once I get those plays done. I'll probably do, finally, I, I, I need to get done uh, the short book that I want to do on uh, Gorgeous George the Wrestler. Yeah, that's been postponed for about two years because these plays sort of just erupted. And that's what I mean by going by the flow. I, in summer of 2017, uh, I was going to, I was thinking, oh, now I've got to do my Gorgeous George book. But then the plays came and I had, I had four a number of years, three or four, the last three or four years before that said, yeah, I'm going to write plays on that. And then I got the idea for the Valley Bertinelli and what if Valley Bertinelli and Megan Follows were in a play together. And that started me writing all these plays. And so I'll do that. Then I'll probably go back, uh, do some other plays. Like I said, I've got, uh, I've got probably 25 or 30 plays in, uh, with the main idea sketch out. But then things come to me. Like I said, this rock opera. I'm going to do a rock opera where I'm going to have, like I did in some of the, in one of the, one or two of the other plays, where I'm going to take one of the stories. The Annie Wagner isn't going to be the main character. And I'll use real rock songs, uh, but I'll also have alternates, which will be public domain uh, classical mm -hmm. music. So that for the first 50 or 60 years <laughs> after it's, it's, been put out there, it'll be using classical music. It'll be like an opera in that the characters will relate to it and there'll be the classical music juxtaposed against some uh, poems of mine. So it, the characters will be soliloquizing my poems as classical music plays. But then the alternate is that uh, once the rock songs fall into the public domain, uh, you know, I'm going to use the rock song. I've got a list of rock songs that I. Uh, that I, I'm going to probably use there. Um, uh, so that that's that's an idea. And uh, the ideas for plays come, come to me all the time. I always think of people that I knew. And uh, uh, sometimes, like I said, I'll be at the Starbucks at work and just sitting on my lunch or a break and I'll hear some crazy old men talking about fucking Jesus or something. And it's like, Jesus, I, I was thinking this the other day. Here's like some four 75-year-old guys, and they're, talk, they're talking about, you know, the Tower of Babel or something. I'm like, how the fuck can you live seven or eight? Thousands of years ago. Yeah, how can you live seven or eight decades and still not recognize these shitty little myths as, as what they are? But people want to believe whatever the fuck they want to believe, so I don't give a shit. It's like, as long as they're not trying to force you to have a baby uh, that you don't want or not trying to force you from taking it up the ass if you want. Who cares?